All right, so there comes a time when one is confronted with the knowingness, with the knowingness, it's all nonverbal. The higher demands are all nonverbal. There's nobody there, there's no words, there's no concepts. But there is a knowingness, and up comes the knowingness that the last and final step is facing you. And the requirement is to die. Hmm? That is the requirement. Unless the fear of absolute death arises, that isn't the final door. Because <laughs> you still have hope left. <laughs> yeah. But when that is eliminated, then there's no way out. And one is confronted with <clears throat> the absoluteness. The things that, come, that are operative at that point would be the energy field of the teacher in whom you have great faith that tells you how to walk through that because that teacher has walked through it. Therefore, the conviction of the truth of the inner experience is a very firm <laughs> rock-like. And you feel its rock-likeness. It was rock-like. That knowingness still, because few go through, everyone who's going through leaves that conviction there. There's that rock-like knowingness to walk through all fear, no matter what. But the fear is quite intense <clears throat> because it is death. It is death. And something else is needed. Within yourself already exists that which is willing to lay down its life for God. That's not something you acquire, something you have to develop. It's something you locate within yourself. Because that question will come up over and over again in the spiritual pathway. Am I willing to surrender this to God? Am I willing to surrender that to God? And you will then locate within yourself <clears throat> that there is a capacity to lay anything down for God. If Krishna, Buddha, Jesus stood here and said, would you lay down your life for me? You would say, yes, O oh Lord. So you find within yourself that which would say, yes, O oh Lord, to that request. If you do that, you will finesse that knowingness from yourself <clears throat> because it is already within the self. It's wise to come to know that within yourself, to know that it's there and then you can call upon it. Because now, at the final door, you have the profound strength and conviction. That is strength. The strength of the truth of God, affirmed by those who have walked through it. That's the pathway of non-duality. And, but then, combined with it is the power of devotion. So the heart and the mind are one at that point. The devotion, that within you which is willing to lay down its life for God. Locate that within yourself now when you don't need it because the final moment arises unannounced, unannounced. No way of knowing. <clears throat> In fact, quite unexpected. <clears throat>